This week's scene is from a little movie called Hell Comes to Frogtown from, from 1988. As I always say, guys, boy, do I miss the 80s. You remember when I did that and I tracked the camera from here to the... I did the wave thing. Is this the wave or is this the wave? I don't give a shit. I could uh, try to explain this movie, but it does it uh, perfectly by itself. So we'll just, we'll just get into it then. In just 10 days, 10,000 years of human progress was virtually blown to dust. Ten years later, they tried again. Okay, so somehow in the span of 20 seconds, we've now copied Mad Max and we've copied Planet of the Apes. So let's just see where this, uh, you know, Statue of Liberty thing goes. I don't want to tell you how to direct your movie, but if you're trying to make a small Statue of Liberty look like it's the real Statue of Liberty, don't have a fly enter the, sh the scene to show the scale of the statue. That's probably not the best idea. Oh, no, no way. It's not, not the real uh, statue. That's crazy, though. Hey, squidlet. Holy shit, that's... Where did he come from? Hey. You know the law. Greeners can't have guns. We all know it's perfectly legal for a frog to shoot a, a grown man in broad daylight. This is America, isn't it? That was, guys, that was a reference to my last horrible movie scenes, if you didn't see it. Also, what is on my face? This does not look good. <laughs> oh, shit. It riveted. From what I know from the kid's toy where you turn it and it makes the farm animal noises, that's a frog that made it. And then it said, hell comes to frog town. What hell is coming to Frogtown? You got me engaged. You got me ready to go. These taste like ass. <laughs> Roddy Piper looks familiar. Hmm. Oh, we were like, boom! <laughs> ah! <laughs> nah. my god he's sam hell he's the hell that's gonna come to frog town uh, extra extra read all about it sam hell wanted very convenient name for the title you got that wrong friend anybody who says any different is a liar Start here. How the hell did you get in here? With this. With this, my badge, and also the sass that comes with your horribly written black woman. Am I right, ladies? And what the hell does Big Tech want here? Him. Because your prisoner was accused of sexual assault. Ah, uh, your daughter has changed her story. Mm. Once she found out she was pregnant, she must have had a change of heart. Hold the fucking phone on this one. So they're introducing us to Sam Hell, their main character, who we're supposed to root for for the rest of the movie. And the backstory on Sam Hell is that the man that just hit him over the head with a bottle is the father of someone that Sam Hell uh, raped. And then she found out she was pregnant and I guess changed her story because she didn't want to lock up the father? Um... How am I supposed to get behind this character? I don't... Oh, it was impossible. That's what we thought too, until we ran some tests. This man is carrying a loaded weapon. I've watched the whole movie, the loaded weapon is his penis. This man is a scavenger, and a thief. And he preys on young women. Oh, 
We know his record. And yours. That's why you're being reassigned to the border. There's a truck waiting outside. We know this man is a thief and a scavenger and he sexually assaults young girls. But we also know your record, that your daughter was just sexually assaulted by him, and he's the hero of the story. So you're being reassigned, you bitch. You're still here? This man cannot catch a break. He just winked at him, as if to say, I got away with it. What you gonna do, pussy? And then he tried to pull in a punch, and then this blonde woman, who's supposed to be the authorities, just fucking flips his ass over. What is happening in this movie so far? Is this a re is this a real movie, or is this a softcore porn? Because, you know, you don't just you don't just have a, a dick be government property in an actual story that you're trying to tell. Mr. Hellman, I can understand why you're so popular with the ladies. You've left a string of pregnancies everywhere you've been. So far, you have the highest spermatozoan count we've ever tested. Must have been all that fiber I ate when I was a kid. So you're weird. You're weirdly cocky about this, and I don't. It makes me uncomfortable. Don't talk about being a, a kid when you're talking about your fucking sperm, dude. I'm authorized to offer you a clean slate. All charges dropped. Now, MedTech's main assignment is to locate and impregnate fert women in the wastelands. MedTech's job is to find and fuck women. And that's their only job. I can I work for MedTech? I'm right. Ladies, am I right? Can I work for MedTech? Ladies, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Ladies, do you get what I'm here? Oh my god, what? Sign this. Yeah, you should have a lawyer present before you uh, sign your dick off to the government. You should probably know. You gotta read that, dude. You haven't read a word. You're just signing it. What's with the like sexual tension of turning the pages? She's just holding. She's just holding a contract where you're signing your dick to the government. Oh man. Stuck. It's an electronic lock. Only we have the code. The ECR stays on at all times. I told you, man. I said, don't sign those papers without a lawyer. And what did you do? It was on illegally before you signed those papers. Now they can legally electrocute your dick whenever they want? I thought they needed his penis. Why? What's the point of the belt if there's a flap? You see what I'm saying? If you just put it on like his heart or something like that, then that would be Alright guys, before we go, I just gotta, you know, read this sponsorship. So, uh, here it goes. Um, this video is brought to you by the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Uh, Jim Jimmy and Timmy have never, uh, never been together, together at last. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see, see you, uh, in, in a week, probably. Maybe less. I'm looking to put out a lot more stuff.